This is my username. You can find me on Facebook if you need to follow or whatever. And I'm from China. And moved to UK last year and joined the European Bioinformatics Institute, the big organization I'm going to talk about. And I keep, uh, keep talking and also the people can try to talk more. I'm uh, really working on Google and the server open source search engine. Uh, here are my models. You can find uh, the portal about uh, OP group. Apache Solar and TDF. And uh, in this session, I'm going to talk about how to use Open Group. Uh, yesterday, uh, you guys uh, attended the session yesterday. How many people go to the business day? Okay. Uh, yesterday, there are several sessions to talk about the big websites. Big companies. This time I'm going to talk about big organizations and focus on the content. Uh, EBI is a big organization and we love Drupal. There's many no profit organization because Drupal has so many advantages. Free, open source, and nice community. Guys like you. And uh, we use Drupal for almost all the Content-based websites for research projects, research projects, international conference, and finally we are moving from our own website to Drupal. That's the biggest project, and uh, I spent most of my time working on it in last year. And in this session, I'm going to share my experience on this website. Uh, before that, most websites were built only need a small editor team, small business and people. I think you must be familiar with the permission setting interface on the box from Google. If you don't have so many people, just create one, two, three, maybe several rows and assign people permissions in that. But like EBI, we have hundreds of people. Also, not all of them will get involved the content in the website. We still have like several teams, research team, service team, different team, and the niche team. We have team leader, and we have content editor. Sometimes we want the content need to be reviewed before published. So put people into group. That's it. Uh, how many people have tried organic group for you before? Okay. I think the advantage is obvious you can sign the roles inside the team. One user can be a team leader in one group, but just normal member in another, another group. And you can create new roles, you know, like machine gunner, soldiers, if you want. You can create uh, as many roles as possible. And how many people have tried Drupal Corners? Okay. So I, I introduced Drupal Corners a little bit. It's a Drupal distribution by Acquia, packed with some models, especially uh, include the organic group, provide like a basic community functions, and is used by some big company like Mercedes and the Work Economic Forum. That's in eBay, so they can maintain the community and put different topics into different groups and people can discuss at this community. It provides a uh, interface if you use this distribution. It's easier for you to create a group and uh, come inside a group. But we didn't use that. One reason is we started our project uh, last year and on Drupal 7 and Drupal Formats for Drupal 7 was released last week, so we can't wait for that. <laughs> it's still a quite good distribution for Drupal. Another reason is we have more complicated requirements. It's not simply a community. Our problem is we have a hierarchy organization. We need a 
Okay, the easiest way to install the uh, OG group is the OG example sub-module. After you install the module, you install the other modules, 
which was required by this module, just enable it. It will create most functions you need for group and uh, come inside group. Uh, after you, in, uh, you enable that module, a uh, content type called group and uh, content type called uh, post was, will be created. The group is the content type used as a group. You will see the option inside the content type. This content type was sent to as a group, can have members and the content inside the group. And the post content type, if you go to the OG site, you'll see this is a content inside group. <coughs> and you can also create more content type and assign to group or create other like, team or organizations use a group content. Okay, this is a group I just created called group one. And this interface was provided by for example, use panels. Here list all the content inside the group one. And here is the link. You can create content inside this group. Here list the two de demo user called user one, user two. If you go to the configuration, here is the interface for the workflow. And you can create the workflow. Like I create one called the WF1, you can also edit other workflow. And as a time marking, we will list all the content type. You can select the uh, workflow you create and uh, assign to the content you want. And here is the group and the post. I will use the, this workflow to show how to use that inside a group. Uh, it's a little bit tricky because the Workflow module have the permission setting for global roles before Drupal roles. So you normally you need to edit that before you use the inside group. But this interface is for the global roles. You need to first enable the roles you want to use this workflow. And after that, go back to the interface. You will see a OG setting if you enable the OG workflow module. And this one provides a similar interface you see on the screenshot. And this is the rows inside the group. And all the roles you have created and the, and the people con configuration and the user configuration, you create them as roles separately. Yeah, if you go to the OG setting interface, mm -hmm. in the configure, you can go to OG group and uh, OG membership type, or not OG membership type. Mm -hmm. Role overview. <laughs> Here is the uh, group now. And inside that's the default roles you can create 
small rows. Mm -hmm. The editor or the viewer. And if you go to a group, manage the group members. You can see permission. No member, member, administrators, editor, reviewer. Mm -hmm. So it's on the group contacts, not the global contacts. My user can be a reviewer in group one and editor in group two. So can be normal member of administrator. So after I create two new roles, I refresh the OG workflow and the you can see we got new roles. And uh, let's try a basic uh, workflow. I create two states, need review and publish. As I mentioned in my slides, I want to like a uh, order can create content. And group for the administrator can make the decision whether this content should be published. In group one, we have two users, user one, user two. You can see the user one is the group administrator, and the user just a normal member. And I assign, already assigned the permission for each group, uh, for each workflow. The order can create content to need review state. Only the administrator can move the content from need review to publish. Okay, I log in to the same website with the user one and go to my group. And I can see the content created by different users inside this group. And for easier to use, I create an interface with the dashboard from Drupal Core and create views to show the content created by myself and the content inside my group. And I can see all the content inside my group is in the review. So if I go to the post one, and here is already in the need review state. As a manager, I can make the decision to be published. Now that's the basic workflow control. And we can use the rules to look together with the revision control and access permission. For example, this post uh, Go to the content tab, let's see the post content. After you enable the revision module, you will see the option left for all the chains in a module. You can select that each time some update content, create a new revision and keep in a pumping state. Don't display that to the anonymous users and just keep the old revision for display. And that's done by revision model? Uh, for the revision, in the Drupal core, all the revision can be reported, yeah. but you can't control should yeah. I display this one or this, the other one. Mm -hmm. The revision model is yeah, the user to control which one is public, which one is public. That's for display mm -hmm. and use what for what you have to create. Many or for 10, 20, and decide which workflow should be triggered the public pick, uh, the publish. Uh, go back to group one. Here is the post. 
and go to the revisions, you will see I already created four different revisions. Here is the most tricky part, how I glued them together with the rules module. something happened, like the workflow change. Here is the event, when workflow state uh, has changed, you can trigger some action. First, I uh, make a sign for the condition if a piece of content will change from any state to publish, and uh, the content be published. The latest, uh, I want to publish the latest revision. So I can create uh, add. Here is the add, pro add provided by the revision module. And you can select the publish the most recent mm -hmm. revision. And save it. And save the rules. Let's go back to book one and I did the post three. That's the current re uh, revision very five. I change that to six and If you are the administrator, you can have the option to create a new revision or not. And you can link that with the uh, raw signing. I will just save the content. Okay, this is the uh, uh, interface I just showed you. <coughs> it's created by the dashboard module inside the Drupal 4. And uh, create in the, uh, here is a field to list all the 
summon an order and here is the real library to resolve the group, the card user the own tool. After you enable the OG example module, it will create several views for you, like the show the to the use the OG user group show all the group the current use that belong to. You can edit that view because it's based on a panel. You can create another display block and save this view. Uh, dashboard and another blocks. <coughs> you can put the view you just created to the dashboard and provide an interface for your editors. And here is a view I just created from the OG user group. That's how we provide the interface for editors, make them like, uh, we make them easier to create content and know which uh, content was created in their group. Okay, final here is some uh, some lessons I learned from the project. Uh, the important one is panels is not really fit in this step because in panel you use pens to the content, not really in the node sometimes. And you can't it, uh, you can't make the reveal for panel. Like in, you put different blocks, views of pens inside panel, you can't check the revisions. And that makes this step just less. Let me try panelizing. Uh, panelizer is more difficult because the permission system is not uh, connect to organic group. And normally you need a global administrator role to assign people. And you can't restrict which part you can use the panelizer, which part you can't. And another problem is the little bit editors. Because today, even for people seven, the little bit editor is still difficult to use. You can't make a like, fancy magazine like layout with the video leak. It's probably for editors who don't have enough HTML knowledge. Uh, and if you enable panels for them, they will all build that. Create a contentless block for a page. And it causes another problem. The responsive design is not only about the theme, it's about content. If you don't, you can't control your editors layout like I have the main content but two horizon block under that it's difficult even for human beings to make a design design to make it uh, mobile friendly. So even you got a responsive design theme you can't make the content to fit different uh, devices automatically. And the last uh, lesson is the community make, make your life easier. Uh, I write the uh, OG workflow module at, uh, uh, for Authentic Group 7 and 1. That's five years ago. After I contribute the module back to the community, people start working on it and help to call that to support Authentic Group 2. And also, many users already start to use the module and uh, report issues, so I don't need to maintain the types of groups to just put it down this model. Okay, I think the time is right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, so I think there will be Yeah, just ask the question. Five years ago, maybe some people I think you can create with the space. Yeah. As long as you want. Are you sure about that? Well, I haven't tried more than one, but you 
can create. You know. Okay, so we we, uh, we 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 use three at the moment, and it's ridiculously slow. Um, so it varies in those. Okay, okay. Well, um, I don't use it in a real environment. <laughs> yeah, we use it in a real. Yeah. yeah we, we use a workbench. And do you think it's, that's the reason why it's slow? Not, not else? I'm not sure. I haven't. So it's, it's, we use quite an outdated which version at the moment, so maybe that's the reason. But the other guy. Oh, it's changed quite a bit. I mean, it's, it's, the, the previous version was quite a bit. Yeah. The newer version seems to be pretty stable. Mm -hmm. We use three, and it's just it runs on our on our side. I mean, it, it slows a bit, yeah. Okay, I'm just not sure what it comes. I always blame the uh, machine on the. <laughs> Another problem is people are not have the right access control. I need to enable some some model and the model for the work factor access. And the set of permission linked to the taxonomy, not to the book or model. I think the biggest problem is uh, I can't really that this already. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I'm I wrote a model called Workbench OG.